probability distribution is um, exactly what it sounds like. When we talk about a probability distribution, um, it's some type of tool that lets us know how probability is distributed amongst the possible values. Okay? Uh, the values of what would be a random variable. A random variable is a numerical or quantitative variable. that um, assumes random outcomes. That's probably not the best way to say it, but for instance, we've talked about an example where we look at the number of boys or girls born to a family of three children. Okay, that's a random variable. The fact that the child is a boy or a girl is not a random variable, but when we start to count something about that process, then that's what we call the random variable. So it has to be quantitative, and the outcome that it takes on is you know randomly assigned. We don't we don't say well before technology and all that stuff. Uh, we don't say how many children there will be, how many boys or girls there will be in three children. The probability distribution could be a chart. It could be a graph. Um, we're going to see that it could be a formula that basically assigns probability to different outcomes. Okay. And it's calculated, not just some random assignment. But when we talk about a probability distribution, there will be two things that you want to do. First of all, we're going to list all possible outcomes. And then um, list the probability associated with each outcome. All right, so keep that in mind. Um, we're starting here in, at the beginning of the chapter to talk about probability distributions in general. Um, and then we'll talk about one in particular. There are lots of different probability distributions, but at the end of the day, um, when we construct a probability distribution, we have to do these two things. List all the possible outcomes and the probabilities associated with each one. Okay, so <clears throat> I think we have an example. It says, consider uh, the offspring of peas from parents both having the green-yellow combination of pod genes. Under these conditions, the probability that the offspring has a green pod is 0 0.75. That is, probability of green is 0.75. If five such offspring are obtained, and if we let x equal the number of peas with green pods, okay, right here we define that random variable, okay. X is going to be the number of peas with green pods among the five offspring. They want us to construct the probability distribution, okay. So we could do that. First of all, we're going to list the possible outcomes. What are the possible outcomes for um, green yellow pods? Well actually it's the number of green pods among five pods. How many could be green? Five could be green. Is there any other possibility? Four, three, two, one, zero. It's possible for zero. So these are all of the possible outcomes. Okay, 0 through 5. Then, to, to finish this, we would need to calculate the probability of um, getting each of these. Okay? And 5 and 0 we could do pretty easily. Okay? They already told us the probability of getting a green is 0.75.
that means the probability of getting yellow is what? 0.25. And if we're talking about yellow and yellow and yellow and yellow and yellow, that would be 0.25 to the fifth, right? Okay, whatever that comes out to be. Um, and then on the bottom, if we get all green, that would be what? 0.75 to the fifth. Okay, we could figure out what that is. The others are a little more complicated because we got to think about which one is going to be green. Is it the first one or the second one or the third one? Or here, which two are going to be green? And so we'll talk about uh, some formulas a little bit later that will help us calculate that. But to complete this, what we would need to do is somehow come up with all of the probabilities for uh, each of the possible outcomes. That's what a uh, probability distribution does. Okay? Questions about that? All right.